I stood slowly, wiping my chin with my sleeve, and gazed around me. I appeared to be standing in a glen surrounded by smooth hills, of which my hill, with its mound and standing stone, was but one of many. I thought to go exploring, and thrilled to the thought. A whole world of wonders, fresh for the plucking. I could not wait. I struck out at once, along the brookside. I don't know why, but it seemed like a sensible thing to do. Perhaps it would lead somewhere. A village, maybe. Did they even have villages in the other world? I do not know. I knew nothing. Less than nothing. The other world. Every few seconds, I would remember where I was, and the awareness would jolt me like a bolt of lightning striking the top of my skull as if it were a weather vane. How was it possible? How could it be? I asked myself over and over. Who could have believed it? Who would believe it? I simply could not take it all in at once, so I gave myself over to a sort of slow-motion astonishment. Time and again, the utter impossibility of my position exploded in my face. I lurched and staggered from one marvel to another, shell-shocked by the sheer transcendent revelatory wonder. Truly, this was paradise. A virginal creation, fresh and unspoiled, a world without blemish, whole and clean and undamaged by humankind's insatiable appetite for destruction. Paradise! I wanted to shout the word from the hilltops. Nothing in my previous life had ever prepared me for this. This soul-dazzling harmony of beauty and peace. This fiery blaze of created glory. Like a tidal wave, the miracle of it whelmed me over, submerged me, pummeled me, and left me gasping for air. Paradise. Paradise.